Wow, Grandpa, this is so great. I love fixing cars. I want to be a big mechanic someday. <laughs> and you are so good at it, Naomi. How will a girl wants to be a mechanic? How will a girl want to be fixing cars? You are not girly at all. Can't you see your stepsister, Doris? Why can't you behave like her? Enough with this talk, Sandra. You can't talk to her like that. If she wants to be a mechanic, then it's not a bad thing. Suit yourself. Oh, yeah, Naomi, stand up. Let's start going. You have work to do at home. Yes, mommy. And she also has to wash my clothes. She will. Dad, we'll be on our way now. What a wicked woman. I didn't turn her to be this way. Like a rose in another sleep, oh, I did have some peace, oh. Auntie, please. Auntie, please. You have the audacity to challenge and disgrace me in front of my father. By the time I'm done with you today, eh, you won't even have man to talk again. <laughs> Auntie, why do you hate me so much? Is it because I'm not your daughter, but I'm your stepdaughter? You are married to my father and you are my late mom's sister. How dare you talk to my mother like that? Mom, she's going to sleep outside this night. Please, Doris, don't say that. Please help me talk to auntie. <laughs> Be fast with the cooking. You are so sluggish. I have somewhere to be. Where are you going to? Why do you want to know? Come on, will you hurry up with what you are doing? Anyway, I'm going to see my boyfriend. How do I look? I got this makeup for like 20000 My boyfriend got it for me. He's so rich. <laughs> when I see another guy richer than him, eh, I'll just dump him. <laughs> Jeez, Doris, my ear is hurting. You only talk about boys. Don't you have other things to talk about? Like to better your life? I don't blame you at all. It's because I stoop so low to talk to you. Be fast with the cooking. I don't forget to iron my clothes. Oh. <sighs> Oh my god, oh my god, mom, I forgot to put on my earrings. I left it at home. Calm down, it's just an earring. You can survive today without it. This is the reason why you will never make it in life. You are fashion blind, you have no taste in fashion. Now, before I close my eyes and open them, go and get her earring. But we are already far from our house and it's raining. I said hurry up, you stupid girl. You are going to trek all the way home. Make sure you bring the earring on time. Nonsense girl. Mom! <laughs> I failed my exams. My lecturer said I won't be able to graduate at this rate. Come on, Doris, my baby. You don't need good grades when you are this pretty. One day, one rich man will come and sweep you up your feet. You won't have to suffer. Auntie, look at me. I aced all my exams. <laughs> my lecturers are so proud of me. You should be telling her to study hard so she can find a good job and be rich herself. Be independent. If I slap that your mouth, you will know who you are talking to. Come on, will you get out of here, foolish girl? Girl, I'm too fragile for this. I can't take this, please. Naomi, I want you to follow Doris to go and make her hair. Make sure you do anything she asks you to do. Don't stress her all. Because if I find out you disobeyed any of her orders, you won't like what I will do to you. Okay, ma. Slow, do you think I'm a machine? You want to stretch my pretty feet? Hmm. But I can't help falling in love with you. Hey, pretty, does your mother sell okra because you've drawn my attention? Are you stupid? No, 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 wait, are you mad? How will you see a pretty girl like me and assume that my mom sells okra? <laughs> It means he likes you. It's just a pickup line. Yeah, seriously, I like you. You are so beautiful. I was taken aback by your beauty. Please, can I have your number? Well, you are cute, but you are below my level. 
You're just a poor beggar. Take a look at you. You won't be able to take care of me. I don't like poverty stricken guys like you. Find a girl your class. Come on, Doris. That's rude. You shouldn't be talking to him like that. And who are you to tell me what to do? Please don't mind what she said. Your voice is really nice and that's a nice song. I don't have money now but maybe I can treat you out to lunch tomorrow to apologize on my sister's behalf. Thanks a lot. For now the day bleed into nightfall. Hey. Hey, remember me? Of course I remember you. Um, I'm so sorry. I don't always look this dirty. I was just helping my grandpa. <laughs> Come on. There is nothing to be shy about. We have a saying that dirty looking people are the richest. So what I am seeing on you is money, not dirt. <laughs> You're so funny and sweet. <laughs> I am David. If you want to do me the toxic things, better find you a substitute. Me, I don't they give you the love and say what the fuck is wrong with you. Mama, no, man, no, man, no. I feel too loud. <laughs> You're not serious. You really have a nice voice. You want to become a singer? Of course. And when I make it as a big star, when I become a celebrity, I'm going to give credit to you on my first music. Oh, <laughs> I know you're going to make it one day. You're so talented. I believe in you. I feel to love you and let go. Doris, where is Naomi? Oh, I don't know. Maybe she's hanging out with that uh, beggar boyfriend again. Hmm, they are best of the same feathers anyway. Mom, I want to get a new wig. I'm tired of wearing the other ones. Sure, I will give you money to get a new wig. Oh, thanks, Mom. Um, so what are your plans for this holiday? Holiday is for people that have family. Hmm. David, you don't have a family. Where do you live? My parents are dead. I am an orphan and I live under the bridge. I don't have a home. Oh my god. David, I'm so sorry about that. I'm here for you. Thank you, Naomi. I wonder what I would have done without you. It's nothing. We're having a dinner this evening. You can come and join us. Auntie, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you that I invited my friend. This is David. David, meet my auntie and Doris. You have already met Doris before. Good evening, ma. Hi, Doris. Oh my god, this poverty stricken penniless wannabe musician. What is he doing here? He wants to come and infect us with his poverty. Come on, Doris. Be nice. David doesn't have a family to spend the holiday with. Oh, is that so? Oh, poor boy, welcome. Thank you for having me, Ma. So, what would you like to have? There is fried rice, chicken, jello fries. Anything, Ma. Okay, bring the money. Ma? Didn't you hear me well? You are poor and you are deaf too. You don't have money and you want to eat. Come and eat now. See, it's poverty, Ma. <laughs> I have to be on my way now. Auntie, Doris, oh my god, what was that for? This is too much. Is it a crime to be poor? You don't even respect grandpa. Are you talking to me like that? You ungrateful pig. You are going to sleep with that for this night. You even have the mind to bring this poverty stinking boy into our house. Mama no, mama no, mama no. I feel to love you and let go. In the beach, no they drain 